Evening guys, just off up Manadale Knots with the little inn. Josh, say hi Josh. Hello. Um, just for a bank holiday weekend, wild camp. It's crazily busy though. I mean, look at Cormac. You can see people out there, the cars, manic. Still as beautiful as ever. Uh, you'll have to excuse the dodgy, dick dastardly moustache. I think I'm going through a midlife crisis, so I've decided that twiddling my moustache makes me look cool, but clearly it doesn't. And also the flat cap. I'm going for like a Yorkshire look. But anyway, today we're hopefully going to be able to pitch the new tent, which we should have um, practiced in the back garden, but we clearly didn't. Uh, but you'll be able to laugh at us if we fail. So anyway, see you at the top. Hi guys, just on top with Josh. Josh is playing with his drone. Hi Josh. Say hello Josh. Hello. We're just up on top. Just looking at round. Looking at the sunset. Get on that. You'd be quite lucky because usually we don't actually see any sunset. Usually it's piddling down. We have been quite good. Nice weather, clear night ish. So hopefully, it won't be too cold. It did take us a while putting up the tent, though, believe me. I should have looked, I should have checked when we went home. 
um, and I had to go and practice running in the garden because it was a bit of a nightmare to be fair. But it's up now and it's fine. Have a look at it now. Top now, uh, Van Dyne Lots. It's actually only like it's 300 and odd meters high, so I thought it'd only take us like half an hour. Half an hour is said on the order and survey map, but um, it took us nearly two hours because I think I took a wrong turn and we had to kind of scramble up the side because I think I missed, the, I missed the pathway and then um, it, it, it got a bit ropey and we had to go back on ourselves and then climb up. It's quite steep, so it, it probably took us about an hour and a half to be fair, but um, it's really quiet up here. And it's, it's nice, nice and chill, nice and relaxed, isn't it, Josh? Yeah. It's lovely. And the sun's just set over us. But we're going to have like the sun set while we're chatting, you know, Josh would talk too long, especially about it. But then that's fine, that's fine. But, um, it's nice. Um, that's about it for now. When we get back to the tent, we'll probably talk about the tent because that took me a bit longer to pull up. But um, that was more my fault because I, I didn't think I needed to have a practice of putting the tent up because it's just a tent, pegs, and away we go. But it, it, it was quite complex to be fair, so I was messing around for a little bit longer than I thought. But it's up now. So when uh, we get back to the tent a bit, we'll, we'll chat about why I've spent over the odds on this tent. Use that, guys. Very nice. This is the best view. <laughs> Evening, guys. I need to come up with a different name other than guys. I think I always say guys. Evening guys. Evening people. Evening friends. Even if friends sounds a bit better. Anyway, I said when we get back to the tent, we'll speak a bit more about why I kind of upgraded from my um, MSR Elixir 2 um, to the Hilleberg and the Marge 2. Because there's a massive price difference to be fair, but um, it was more that a couple of months ago, well, I think it was about seven or eight months ago, we, we, we climbed on and slept on top of um, haystacks and it got ridiculously windy. It wasn't meant to be windy, but it got really bad and um, it kind of demolished the whole tent. So we had to leave, I think it was about one in the morning and walk down the mountain, which was quite a scary experience to be fair. And ever since then, I've been a bit worried about going tent, wild camping in the tent. Um, where there's any chance the weather could be bad and obviously when you're at the top of the mountains the weather could always get bad it could always change at the drop of a hat so i thought to myself i was going to buy a tent that was basically bomb proof that i don't have to worry about anything ever happening to my little boy or me obviously but uh, more more my little boy whose birthday it was yesterday so happy birthday josh he's 14 he's 14. anyway so uh we spent quite a lot of money on this tent. I'm not going to say how much because if Lois is watching this, she's my daughter, she'd kill us. But it was it was a lot of money. But um, it's an investment because we, we go wild camping quite a lot. And he was 14 yesterday, so I've still got him for about another three years. 
so it, it, it's worth it but um it's just peace of mind at the end of the day there's more room in this tent it is a little bit more heavier than the other one but uh, there's not much in it because we did look at the Hilleberg Alak and the Steiker as well but I think the Steiker was I think that was like 3.7 kilograms and the Alak was 3.4 and this came in at 3 kilogram which is only I think it was 0.6 kilograms heavier than the original MSR so as much as it's a little bit heavier it's, it's definitely given me that peace of mind to invest in and there's a lot more room do you think yeah yeah Josh only ever says yeah and nods his head <laughs> and um it just seems safer so that's why I got this and it's just strong all around really and it's just, it's just, it's just better made and it's got like fancy Hillebird stickers on the outside and all that and it seems to be the trend to have a Hillebird but I did look at other ones um, I can't remember what the ones I looked at to be fair but I think I'm just a tent snob now clearly and this is why we got that anyway you'll see pictures of it I did want to get it in red but um, they didn't have it in stock plus red, red's a bit it's a bit bold, isn't it? But it looks nice. It looks nice. But um, no, we've gone for this sand colour. It's just got like yellow inside. It just, it just makes it seem like it's daytime all the time. But uh, there's definitely more room in here. It was a bit of a pain in the arse to set up. Like I said earlier, it's I, I should have practised. But I didn't. I just thought it's going to be easy. And it wasn't difficult, but it wasn't excessively hard. But um, it's up now and it's not going to blow away. And, it should be fine, but I, I will be practicing a little bit more to attach the footprint at the bottom because I think that's where I was going wrong. I think I should have worked out which end was which end and whatever, whatever. But uh, it's open as you see, it, it looks fairly stable and it's not there's no wind at all tonight, so I could have actually come in my, my cheap tent, but I never. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the morning, hopefully. Later. <laughs>